Hello, this is a tutorial on how to use the descriptive statistics to generate T statistics, both calculated and from a table. So in the previous video we showed how to add uh, statistical analysis capabilities to Google Sheets. Now we're going to go a little step further and we're going to take the same example spreadsheet that we had that we use to generate our descriptive statistics and then we go to calculate our T value. And we have our uh, formula for calculating the T, which is our sample mean subtract the population mean. Now our sample mean, of course, is generated from the samples that we have, and it was calculated as 29.33. Now our population mean is that 30 bushels of tomatoes that we're hoping to uh, test against. So that's ideally what we want to see in our population. So 29.33 minus 30 gives us negative 0.67. And we take that number and we divide it by the standard error. And the standard error, of course, was generated by our descriptive statistics. And so when you do that uh, division calculation, you end up with 1.12 as the figure for uh, the calculated T statistic. Now we ignore the negative because of course uh, the negative is uh, immaterial. We're looking only at the magnitude. So now how do we get uh, from the calculated T to our tabular T? Well we can look it up in the table, right? Eight degrees of freedom, five percent of, uh, well actually that should be 0 0.05 but you get it five percent in terms of the probability. And we use 8 degrees of freedom because it is our sample size 9 n, n minus 1, 9 minus 1 equals 8. So that's what we would normally look up in the table. But we can also get it by uh, having the program calculate it for us. Now in Excel we would normally go to function and then select TINV. Uh, Google Sheets it's not as easy. Basically it's a lot easier if you just go into the edit bar, type equals TINV, and then we put in the variables. And the first variable is our uh, significancy level, 0 0.05. And then we put in our degrees of freedom, which is 8. Close bracket, hit return, and it generates our t table form. So that's the t statistic that we compare our calculated one to. So for the tomato example, we look at the magnitude. So absolute value, 1.12 compare it to 2.306 and sure enough it's smaller therefore we do not reject the null hypothesis. Guess what? Our mean yield from our new tomato variety is not significantly different from the 30 bushels that are expected so yoohoo we can register that variety. So that's how we take our descriptive statistics and we use the results of those to calculate our T statistics and we can even use the spreadsheet to calculate the tabular statistic that we compare it to. And that's how we function in our T tests. Thank you.